Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to describe a way to give feedback. Um, often when we give feedback to an idea, we think about the ways that uh, in which the, the project or the idea won't work and we start to critique. Um, you know, we might say, okay, well, this part of it is good, but this part of it is bad. Um, and so I'm going to present a, a method called the PPCO method um, that's designed to help us, um, to help us give more positive feedback. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is an example of, of some research findings. They are completely hypothetical. Um, but in these hypothetical uh, research findings, um, there was a study that looked at what bee therapists could do. And so bee therapists were helping bees overcome depression from neonicotinoid-related uh, deaths. Uh, neonicotinoids are a class of chemicals that have been used uh, as pesticides on, on agricultural fields, but it can have some unwanted um, effects on pollinators. So these bee therapists, anyway, um, apparently did something, um, had an effect. So findings were showing that two bees in a hundred were happier. So we're listening to these researchers and we want to give them some feedback about their work. So we're going to use the PPCO method. First, we're going to talk about positives. What are the positive aspects of this research? What are the potentials? So the potential positives, the potential places the research could go, what's coming next? What about concerns? So these concerns we want to be framing as a, as a question. So how might we, how to, we want to think of ourselves as on, being on the same page as the researchers or the people pitching the project and we're with the idea that we're helping them improve the work that they're doing and the opportunities. So what could be done to address the concerns? Practical and actionable ideas are ideal. Now, if we were doing this uh, in writing or in person, uh, we might be writing these on sticky notes and we would want to put one of these ideas per sticky note. So positives on a sticky note, potentials on a different sticky note, um, concerns on a third one, opportunities on a fourth. So that when all the feedback came in, um, these researchers would be able to organize all the positives together, potentials together, concerns and opportunities. So let's see how it plays out in a real example. First, the positives. Well, maybe happier bees make more honey. That's a good thing. Um, happier bees may pollinate more flowers and that's I mean that's good for the bees it's good for the flowers but even ultimately it's good for good for agriculture but potentials well if we could increase the effects of the therapy even more bees would be happier and wouldn't that be great now concerns how might we train these bee therapists remember these are framed as, as questions how might we get enough therapists out to the bees I mean that could be a lot of travel the bees might be far away so how might we do this so ways to overcome them. Let's give some suggestions to these researchers and, and to the bee therapists themselves. Well, maybe we could create a new bee therapist training program. We could make it an online course so that people could keep their day jobs and, and, and work, but do this studying on the side. Everybody wins. So that's the PPCO method in a nutshell. And it's meant to give positive, specific, and constructive feedback to the research, to the project idea, whatever it is we're giving feedback on. And it's quite easy to do it in a group of two, five, a hundred. Um, so it's quite scalable in that way. And it's really quick. We saw that it didn't take very long to, to generate some ideas. And with any kind of feedback, keep in mind that we offer that as a, as a gift. Here's a suggestion for what you might do. And then it's up to the person who's, or the group that's doing the project to decide if that feedback is a fit for them. So keep that in mind, both as you're offering feedback and as you're receiving the feedback. 